So recently, a story done by The Guardian has been making the rounds on social media about a potential male contraceptive pill. And the author of the article went into great detail about why there's one needed. And honestly, if I'm being fair, that part of her article was very good. But as usual, she couldn't just resist taking a shot at men. But I'll get to that in a moment. Let's first answer the question, is there actually a need for a pill for men? And the answer is, apps a freaking lootly there does. You see, right now, men have three options when it comes to whether they want to be a parent or not, whether they want to have a choice. Option one, they can hope like hell that when she tells them she's on birth control, she actually is. But men really have no control over that. She can lie and say she is, and when she later gets pregnant, well, the courts have ruled time and again he's going to be forced to be a father and have to support the child, a child he never wanted. So much for choice. Option two, well, that's been around for thousands of years, the condom. And while it is an option, we all know the risks involved with using one. I'm not saying you shouldn't use one, but they aren't the most reliable method. And option three is to get a vasectomy, something younger women these days are demanding men should get, even going so far as to say it should be required for all boys as young as 10 years old. They'll make the claim that it's completely reversible at any time, which is false. Yes, it can be reversed, but that reversal, especially if it's been many years, may not work. So a male contraceptive pill would be indeed a game changer. It would finally give men the actual ability to determine whether they wanted to be a father or not. It would give them choice. Now let's answer the question, would men take it? And the answer is, Oh, hell yes, they would. The day it comes out will be the most requested and the most prescribed drug in the history of mankind. It will be the biggest seller ever. And that, my friends, is probably why we'll never see it. Because the governments know men will take it and the birth rate will plummet. Population will decrease like never seen before. And governments can't allow that. The other little tidbit that no one wants to talk about is it will give men power. It will give them choice. They'll be able to decide for themselves whether they want to be a father or not. And it will take that power away from women. They'll now have to get an agreement from the man that he wants to be a parent. A power they're not going to want to give up anytime soon. Which leads me back to the final point I want to make. The one I mentioned in the first part of the video. Where I said the author of the article just couldn't resist taking a shot at men by promoting a complete falsehood. One, by the way, which many women are running with. The article is written by Jill Filipovic, a radical feminist who had to go out of her way to claim that men wouldn't take it, saying, among other things, that many of the things women routinely tolerate to prevent pregnancy, mood swings, weight gain, are simply unbearable for the less fair sex. She then goes on to say, if this drug gets approved, women will get some very useful information about the men in their lives, and particularly those with which they have romantic relationship. Well, ladies, all I can say is be careful what you wish for, because men are going to take the pill, and they are going to take control of their reproduction, and you are no longer going to have a say in the matter. So please, continue making fun of men. Continue actually thinking that they're not going to take it because, well, they might get bloated. Because if you think men are scared of putting on a couple of pounds of water weight, I hate to break it to you, but you're going to be in for a rude awakening.